right, Matrix and Roadshow supporters. Well, I believe today marks 99 days before the election, and things are starting to smell awfully fishy out there, especially when it comes to the mainstream media trying to scrub all Kamala Harris n uh, negative propaganda, as well as Google doing Google-like things that leads one to believe, are you trying to influence our election that's coming up? Because if you do a search on Google right now, uh, you do for, for Donald Trump news, okay? Type in Donald Trump, try to find the news. Instead of Donald Trump news, okay, news about voting, Donald Trump speaks, blah, blah, blah. News about Harris, Donald Trump. Why is Kamala Harris in coming up next to Donald Trump in this search? Why is that happening right now? I mean, I'm trying, inquiring minds want to know, why is her name here exactly? When somebody is trying to search for Donald Trump news, why is Kamala Harris involved? Uh, you see this. Google feature amidst search results for failed Trump assassination. Big tech accused of election manipulation. People are finding all kinds of issues right now with Google. All right. And Elon Musk, and we'll get to this in a second, because he's now called out Google multiple times on X today. All right. Google users searching for attempted assassination of former President Trump were miffed when the desired results failed to populate on the search engine. It's not there, folks. It's not there. Instead, the website autocomplete feature omitted the results of the July 13th shooting, drawing criticism from social media users who accused the big tech giant of trying to influence the presidential election. What else would you call it? I mean, really, seriously. I mean, it showed results instead for the assassination of Ronald Reagan. I mean, what's going on here? Let's see. It's uh, right here. Assassination attempt on Reagan. Hitler. Uh, Bob Marley. I mean, all this stuff. Uh, Truman? What? Uh, President Truman? Harry Truman? I mean, what's going on here exactly? So, even keywords Trump assassination attempt yielded no additional terms from Google, according to users. I mean, what is going on here? Big Tech is trying to interfere in the election again, in caps, to help Kamala Harris. Donald Trump Jr. wrote on X, quote, we all know this is intentional election interference from Google, truly despicable. A Google spokesperson told Fox Business, there was no, quote, manual action taken on these predictions. Okay, so you got it built into the algorithm or, or the AI that, that is it maybe controlling the search engine? Is that what's going on? Because it's my understanding some of this AI tends to be, well, let's just say very leftist leaning. Our systems have protections against autocomplete predictions associated with political violence, which were working as intended prior to this horrific event occurring. The spokesperson wrote, we're working on improvements to ensure our systems are more up to date. So they're trying to blame it on things being behind. Really? The company's spokesperson said the autocomplete feature is, quote, just a tool to help people save time. Following this terrible act, people turned to Google to find high quality information. We connected them with helpful results. And my screen just jumped. Yeah. So, and that, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, high quality information connected them with helpful results and will continue to do so. Do you? Question mark? I, I'd love to know. Again, why am I finding Harris Donald Trump crap? Right there. So, searches Donald Trump only gets news about Kamala Harris. Same thing as we saw a second ago. Harris Donald Trump, together. Wow, this is crazy. You just got called out by Elon. I mean, what's going on? You just got called out again. 
I did a Google News search about Donald Trump. Google News changed it to Harris Donald Trump and proceeded to show me only news that favors Harris over Donald Trump. Um, Google, Elon put him on blast again just a li- very little while ago. Guys, I mean, look, election interference isn't always fraudulent votes. In fact, this very platform in which Elon now owns that he previously did not own, if you remember, engaged in what we like to call uh, suppression and shadow banning of information. And the, the, the biggest one that I can think of right off the bat was the Hunter Biden laptop story from the New York Post when it was broke. How about Facebook? It's starting right now, folks. Now, the difference between before and now, they don't own Elon. Now, that's a big difference. And when there's false stories that are put out there, well, they get shot down a lot quicker now. Right? They get called out. They get community noted. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow. Uh, right in front of our very faces, now, Google is, seems to be altering, giving us, routing us somewhere else, showing us alternative results. Nobody type. I didn't type in uh, Harris Donald Trump News. No, I typed in Donald Trump News, period. And instead, I get all these pro Kamala Harris ads pop up, the uh, headlines. What the hell is going on here? I mean, they're trying to scrub the whole, you know, the media is on a full court press to scrub the borders are thing, which was common knowledge. And by the way, where are all these fictional polls coming from all of a sudden? I mean, Kamala Harris had like a 28% approval rating or something. I mean, it was whatever it was, it was awful and it was worse than Biden. And then all of a sudden... She's supposed to be flirting with Trump right, right now in, in national polls? What kind of wizardry and gen, uh, mental gymnastics was used to come up with these numbers? I understand there's a honeymoon phase to a new candidate, but come on. I mean, anybody with any common sense is going to understand Trump is going to whip her like a dog in the street. I mean, it's going to be bad. Uh, It's going to be a total boat race, provided everybody gets out and votes. And now we got to vote and beat this kind of crap that we're seeing from, now we're seeing from Google. Too big to rig, folks. Uh, Don't take it for granted. Get out and vote. Uh, Vote red. Voter IDs. And somehow, some way, we also have to overcome the the how many illegal aliens have come in now across the border. Nah, and, and Elon called them out for that too earlier, by the way. And people jumped in. Well, they can't if they're illegal. They can't vote. So you're trying to tell me they can't acquire a fake driver's license? Blah blah blah. Register. Blah blah blah. Come on now. Seriously. In the right counties, if they're voting blue, they're going to figure it out. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.